Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and try uh, this one, number the, the third one on the quiz. Uh, it says a helium nucleus has two protons and two neutrons. How many electrons would it take to equal the mass of a helium nucleus? And then it gives you the mass of a proton, a neutron, and an electron. Okay. So some of us did this some weird way, trying to go to the periodic table, looking up the mass of helium and all that. That's not one of the way they're, and then converting grams to AMU and don't do it that way, okay? They give you this information and they tell you the, the helium nucleus has two neutrons and two protons, okay? So how do I do that? Well, the mass of the helium nucleus is going to be two times this number, because that's one proton, so 1.67. 262 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms, and then add that to 2 times the mass of a neutron, right? Because you have two protons and two neutrons. So 1.67, 493 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. So the first thing we want to do is figure out the mass of that nucleus. Okay, and so let's do that together. Plug it into your calculator. So two times one point six Zero, 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 nine, one. 
negative 27. And what do I get? Hopefully the same thing as you. What did we get, guys? 7,357. Yep, 7357 point whatever, right? In my case, 25. Okay, there's no such thing as a quarter of an electron. But we also want to remember our units. So electrons, okay? Or if you want to put Everybody okay with doing that? Okay. So again, I think um, when we start off the class, we're learning conversion factors, you know? So uh, this problem is helping us to identify that anything that we see that's an equivalency can be used as a conversion factor, okay? So just take that to heart when you're doing this because I know Oftentimes when there's all these weird numbers to so the negative 27, point zero zeros and all that craziness, it kind of throws you off from the main point of the problem, which is just using your conversion factors. Okay, any questions on this one? Wonderful.